Welcome to our channel, Fast Cabling. Are you tired of dealing with limited Ethernet cable links, especially when setting up devices far from your router? Well, today in this video, we are diving into the world of power over Ethernet technology, your ultimate solution for extending Ethernet range and boosting your network coverage. And if you're struggling with technology challenges and seeking expert guidance for your project, your search ends here. You can visit our solution page through the link down in the description box below to a world of troubleshooting tips and innovative ideas. Power over Ethernet is a brilliant innovation that allows both power and data to be transmitted over a single Ethernet cable. It's simplifying installation, reducing clutter and opening doors to a world of possibilities. Traditional Ethernet cables have long been the backbone of network connection, but they come with limitations, particularly in terms of range. These cables are great for shorter connection within a building, but they struggle to maintain signal integrity over extended distance. And here's where PoE steps in with its ingenious solution. It eliminates the needs for separate power supply. It's like having a power outlet wherever you have a network connection. So whether you're setting up a security camera in a remote location or deploying wireless access point throughout a large facility, PoE has your back. To extend the reach of PoE and power of devices at a greater distances, you need a few key components. First are the PoE switch and PoE injectors, which act as the power source. They send both data and electric power down a single Ethernet cable. But when you need to go even further, you need a PoE extender into the mix. This clever device boosts the PoE signal, allowing it to travel longer distance without losing power and data. And the extended PoE signal can reach devices like IP cameras, wireless SS point and VoIP phone that are far away from the power source and making your network more flexible and efficient. So before you set up your network, make sure you start by assessing your network's need, like whether you need to extend the power and data. Also consider factors like distance, device type, and cable requirement. Then select the right PoE extender that suits your need. Make sure it can handle the power and distance requirement of your setup. And for our connection today, we are using this outdoor waterproof BT Gigabit PoE extender. This extender has one PoE input port and two PoE output port, provide 1000 Mbps gigabit transmission and supply up to 30 watts of output power per port. And it is also IP67 waterproof rated, so you can work under harsh environment. Then you need to set up the PoE injector or a PoE switch connected to the router and to the extender. In our case today, we are using this 10G 30 watts AT PoE injector. It can support up to 10 G gigabit Ethernet network speed and inject 30 watts of power into the network system. Then run the Ethernet cable to the devices that you want to power up. We are going to power our PDZ camera and a wireless access point. Last but not least, you need to check your cable connection, ensure everything is power on, and verify the compatibility between your components. So without saying, let's do the connection together. So first I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the router to the network video recorder. So you can display video footage from the PTZ camera. Next, I'm going to use another short patch cord to connect our router to our PoE injector. This is the data input port. Let's provide data to our injector. And then, this is the PoE output port. We are going to connect to a 100 meters Ethernet cable. It's already powered up. Over here to the extender, we have a special mounting tool for the PoE extender. It allows you to mount it on a DIN wheel wherever you want. And I already took out the neck and the gland for easy installation. Let's plug in the Ethernet cable from the PoE injector. As you can see, the indicated light is already on. 
Now I'm going to plug it in the other 100 meters Ethernet cable and mount it back on the DIN rail. This is another 100 meters. Let's connect it to our PDZ camera. Plug it in here. Just wait for a second. It's already getting power and let's check out the data. As you can see, the video footage is already on. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So we are done using the PoE extender and the PoE injector for the connection. Now I'm telling you there's actually another way to extend your long range distance. We are going to use the four port long range PoE switch next. And with two of them actually is our 500 meters long range extension kit. It can support data transmission up to 500 meters with two of them, but only the data transfer to ensure safe operation. Now let me replace them. Replace the injector with the long range PoE switch. Let me unplug everything, take out the injector and power up our long range PoE switch. As you can see it's already powered up. This is the data port we are going to connect to the router. Keep in mind only port number one and two can support long range. So I'm going to plug it into port number one, connecting to our 100 meters ethernet cable. At this point, I'm taking out everything here and use a coupler to join those 100 meters together. So total, we have 200 meters ethernet cable. This is just a simple coupler to join them together. And next, I'm going to unplug it here and power up our long range PoE switch on this side. As you can see, the indicated light is on. I'm going to use the 200 meters ethernet cable. Also plug it into port number one. And I'm going to connect the PDZ camera using another short patch cord. And also we can also connect the wireless access point. Since we're using a switch, so it can supply up to three to four devices at the same time. As you can see, our PDC camera is already displaying on our monitor. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. And in the middle, we have 300 meters continuous run and it's actually up to 500 meters. To ensure optimal performance when extending your PoE range, make sure you use a high quality cables for protection against interference and keep your Ethernet cable well organized. Consider footage drop over a longer cable run. Ensure your PSE, the power sourcing equipment, provide adequate footage for your devices. Also consider redundancy measures such as the backup power source or alternative communication path to make maintain network reliability in case of failure. And for a complex or a large-scale deployment, you can consider consulting with network professionals or PoE experts who can provide tailored solution and guidance. So please feel free to contact us if you have any question. You can Send us your question through the link down in the description box below and our expert will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.